Okay, I want to give a quick example on how to use the uh, naive gas elimination. And I'm going to do this in MATLAB, so I hope I doesn't cause any confusion. But I'm going to do this to demonstrate how we can use the results in the command history window, which you see in my view is, is right here, how we can use that to make a script file. But we're going to do that by first just going through the steps of the Gaussian elimination here in the uh, um, command window. And then we'll uh, build a script file after the fact. Okay, so uh, first, uh, just a little bit of a refresher on MATLAB notation. If we have a matrix in MATLAB, And we want to address or pick out the third row first column. We indicate that to MATLAB this way. Per A parentheses third row comma first column. That's going to pick out or address that number. And we could then address that number, change that number. If we wanted to make it five, you know, we can do that. So now 3, 1 is 5, whereas it was 7 before. Uh, a generalization of this, or, or an important point, is that we can also address an entire row or an entire column just by using uh, in MATLAB what you might call a wildcard character, this uh, colon, just the normal two, two dots here. So this means a third row, all the columns. And so when I enter that in, he now shows me what is the third row of A. Um, and so we can use this in our Gaussian elimination routine to operate on entire rows of a matrix um, quite easily. OK, so uh, let's consider the following problem that we want to solve this 4 by 4 system of equations using Gaussian elimination. So my first order of business will be to transcribe this coefficient matrix. Um, I'm going to call it C for starters and then uh, the, the right hand side vector uh, B um, into MATLAB. I need to get my equations in there. So. Let's say that C, my coefficient matrix, is uh, as follows. I can't quite see the last row here on my screen. I have to two, three, seven, eight. All right. So there's the matrix C, and the determinant of C is uh, minus 6, so that that's not 0, so we should be able to solve this system of equations. The right-hand side vector of these numbers here Oops, I need to let B equal B transpose. There we go. Uh, and we can see that as a column vector. So, um, I mean, right away we can get MATLAB to help us uh, to find the answers, obviously. So if we just want to know the answers, uh, this example was contrived. Uh, the answers are 1, 2, 3, 4 for x1, x2, x3, x4. And uh, we find that by the MATLAB operation C divided into B, or C backslash B. Now, to solve uh, by gas elimination, we're going to form what I call the augmented matrix. And I'm going to call that A. And we can uh, join two compatible matrices together, or, or repackage them, if you will, using the square brackets in MATLAB. If we have a matrix C and matrix B, if they have the same number of rows, we can put them together just like this. So now the matrix A has 
all of the components of C here on the left, and it has the uh, rows of B on the in the last column. So now we can um, do our Gaussian elimination, and I I'll go through all the steps, even though some of them are redundant here because of the, the way this matrix is structured. But uh, this uh, we're going to use the first row. to make the entries below the diagonal in the first column, zero. So just again doing this mechanically, we're going to take the uh, second row, all of the second row, and we're going to modify it. So we're going to take whatever's there and we're going to subtract off the first row divided by the lead element in the first row. Oops. But then multiplied by the lead element in the second row. And the window's not quite big enough. Let me see if I can squeeze this. Maybe I can squeeze it over this way. There we go. Okay. So, again, the second row is the second row minus the first row, which has been modified by dividing by the first entry and multiplying by the first entry on the second row. And notice that since those are both one, we could have skipped that multiplication and division and just done the subtraction. But we'll go through all the steps there just to, to make it plain. All right, so there we got what we wished for. We have the zero there in the uh, first, first column. Now we want to do exactly the same thing. row three. So I'm going to cheat and copy the um, same command that I had by using the up arrow to recall this command. And I'm going to still use the first row divided by, but now I need to use the third row to operate. So doing exactly the same step, the, this part didn't change and this part didn't change but everything else changed to refer to row three instead of row two. Okay, so we've got that and uh, likewise for row four. So I use the up arrow command, bring that back up, and now I'm gonna operate on row four. This part doesn't change, we're still using row one and we have to normalize row one by that first entry one one but now uh, we need to multiply by 4, 1. There you go. So we do all those steps. And now we've got uh, zeros all in the first column. So now life is good. So now what do we do? We go to the second column and we use that uh, pivot element to uh, modify everything below the diagonal in the second column. So now move to the second column, make everything below the diagonal zero. And how are we going to do that? Well, we, we got a spot of luck here, as the British would say, that that number turned out already to be zero. So um, that actually helps us. We don't have to operate on, on that row. Um, <laughs> I mean, we could, and, and just for, for the heck of it, maybe we will, but, but that's a wasted step. But if we just do this mechanically, we can go back to the same prescription that we had and say that we want to take the third row now and uh, use the second row with the second uh, element as the pivot element 
and then uh, we've got to use the third row, which is our, our zero, to multiply through and, and subtract that. So notice that that's going to, that's not going to change, that, 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 anyway, we, we'll do it, but it, we don't need to do that step because we've already got a zero there. Just make sure we're doing the right thing. Third row, use the second row, and third row, yep, I got this wrong. Third row, second column. I'm just glad that we got the third row because we've got to multiply by that one right there. There we go. All right. Uh, what happened there? Sorry. Three, zero, A, two, all the rows, A, two, two. And then multiply that times A. Three, two. There we go. Um, yeah, it shouldn't shouldn't make any difference because we multiplied through by zero. I don't know what happened just before. So now let's do the fourth row. So we've got to take the fourth row, and we're going to use the second row to eliminate it. But now we need the fourth row, second column, as the uh, multiplier and when we do that we've got zeros there now we're ready to take care of that last entry and we're good to go so now move to the third column same thing There's only one coefficient below the diagonal, but let's see if we can understand this. Fourth row, we're going to now use the third row, and we're going to divide by 3, 3, but now we have to use the fourth column, third row, as the multiply. So in other words, we're going to divide this row by 8, multiply it by 3, and then subtract the result from row four. And when we do that, uh, the matrix got a little too big to fit in the window, so he's rounded some things here. I don't know if we wanted to. Anyway, this is fine. Uh, this is what we want. So now we're ready to do the back substitution. All right, so how does it work? The last entry here divided by that entry is x4. Fourth row, fifth column. That's my that's my right-hand side number. Fourth row, fifth column divided by a44. Right? Okay, so we got the 4. It's looking good. Now what do we do? Well, we go back to the previous uh, row, and we want to find x3, and we're going to do that by taking the uh, third row, fifth column. That's my right-hand side, and I happen to know I'm going to need to group this together, so I went ahead and put an open parenthesis there. Now I need to take the uh, third row, fourth column, times x4 and divide that now I've got to divide that by a uh, 3 3 so in other words I took the right hand side that I had and I subtracted off the coefficient times the value of x4 and then divided by that lead coefficient let's see what that does So far, so good. Uh, the next one, it just gets a little more complicated. I've got to take the second row, but I've got to take a uh, second row, and then I also have to subtract off the one that I just found, a, a second row, third column, times x3. And then I need to divide by a2, 2. two.
Yeah, and it's getting too big to, to fit in here. So, and then finally, uh, row one. I got to take the right hand side, subtract off multiplier times x4, the multiplier times x3, and subtract off the multiplier times x2, x2 that we just found, and divide by a11. And so there we have it. Uh, x actually came out to be a, a column vector, but uh, and a row vector, but we can make it into a column vector just like that. So uh, there is the solution by uh, Gaussian elimination. Uh, we can take these contents from the command window and cut, cut and paste them into um, a script file. So the, the way I would do that is just come in here to the first line that you want to capture and, and click on it that highlights it and then go to the last line you want to capture and hold down the shift key and that's just uh, says you want to do a multiple selection and it'll select down to where you are there and then if you you can go up here and say edit copy but you can also just right click on this uh, block and say you want to copy that to the clipboard so now if we um, open a new script file and again right click paste this into here these are all the commands that we just entered in now um, I'm gonna take away some of the stuff that we did in the beginning that was just for our amusement um, yep so here are the steps uh, that we entered in to get that part. Uh, we've got some misspellings in here that I can uh, try to correct. The augmented augmented matrix. And we had something kind of weird to happen right in here. I don't know how I got that zero in there. But anyway, if we save this as a text file, just I mean save. Uh, let's call this um, example two. As long as that's in our current working directory. Now, if we um, go back to the command window and clear everything. Clear is a MATLAB command. It just means eliminate or wipe out whatever follows. So, so clear all means clear all the variables that we had. So that, that wipes everything out. So now if we just run example 2, you'll go and find that script file and go through and do all those steps. And quick as, quick as a wink, um, we've got everything there now. The script file, as we wrote it, doesn't have any intermediate output. It's really uh, eliminated this. He echoed out the results of his, his calculations, but uh, when we get down there, we don't see the steps. So the steps aren't here, and our comments don't come out. And so we might want to go in there and change our script file to put a little bit of output in there so that it explains uh, what's going on. But um, that, that is a script file that will uh, execute these steps. And then I can go back and redo that or modify that script file uh, if I want to.